Hi everybody, this is Babe San Macalas once again, and you are watching video number 8 in a series of 13 videos on the answers to your biggest questions about prayer. I will be answering in this video the question, how can I listen to what God is saying to me? Plus two related questions, and these are, how do I know that the message is from God and not from myself? And will it take long before I can hear Him? Prayer is a communication between us and God, and so we need to learn to listen to what He is saying to us. And indeed, God speaks to us. In James chapter 1, verse 5, it is said, If any of you is lacking in wisdom, ask God who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given you. So if we ask for wisdom to deal with the issues of life, God will certainly give it to us. I don't know if any of you have read the book, God Guides by Mary Gig or Jig. Her last name is spelled as G-E-E-G-H. Mary was a missionary in India for 38 years. And in this book, she tells of her experiences about listening to God. The way she listened to God was quite simple. Whenever she needed to consult God about something, and this happened every day, she would sit down with a notepad and pencil and would wait for God to respond. Then she would write down whatever she heard and then do whatever God asked her to do. She would obey even if what she was asked to do seemed strange. I remember one story she was telling about a fellow missionary whom she was at odds with. When she asked God what to do so that they would reconcile, she heard that inner voice tell her, Give her an egg. And she did exactly that. She gave her colleague an egg, half apologizing for what seemed to be a rather strange, irrelevant act. Well, it turned out that her colleague needed exactly one more egg so that she could feed her family that night. And she was wondering where she could get one. And this is just one experience which Mary talked about in her book. There were many more. The first time I read her book, I wish I could hear from God in, in that same simple and natural way that she did. Then later I realized that God speaks to us in so many ways. One way is through that inner voice inside us. This was the voice Mary heard. Some refer to it as the Holy Spirit. Others describe it as a still, small voice. From my experience, I call it a voice without a voice. It's like a thought that just comes to your mind, but there is a certain peace or calm that surrounds it. God also speaks to us through our conscience. Through our conscience, He speaks to us about what is right and what is wrong. God also communicates with us through daily events that happen in our lives. For example, we may get a job offer out of the blue that changes our career direction, or somebody we haven't heard from for quite a while calls us. You know, we can learn much simply what God is saying by observing what transpires around us. Another way that God speaks through us is through our pain. As C.S. Lewis said, God whispers to us in our pleasures. He speaks in our consciences, but shouts in our pain. It is his megaphone to rouse a deaf world. It is oftentimes when we hear that we hear what, in our pride and self-sufficiency, we would otherwise never bother with. When we're flat on our backs in bed or in pain, we slow down and we tend to listen. We ask deeper questions. Our pain can lead us to God. God also uses other people to speak to us. Sometimes we find the answers to our questions while listening to a homily during Sunday's Mass, or somebody tells us something we don't want to hear but need to. God can also communicate with us through our dreams, 
through nature or his physical creation and in many other ways but most importantly he speaks to us through his word much of the listening is simply taking to heart what god is telling us through his written word the bible much of the listening is in soaking ourselves in the wisdom of the scripture so how do we learn to listen one way is simply to become more alert more aware more conscious more reflective in reading the clues as god unfolds his will in the daily happenings in our lives usually at the end of the day i reflect on what happened that day and ask myself what god was trying to tell me sometimes i get some insight and sometimes i don't you can also ask god to speak to you one of my favorite stories in the bible is the story of young samuel his guardian who was the temple priest eli or eli told him that if god calls him he would say speak lord for your servant is listening i apply this advice of eli or eli in my life so when i need some guidance or even when i just want to be more receptive to god i would go through my day repeating quietly speak lord for your servant is listening the actual hearing may not come at the end of the day but it is the preparation of my heart to hear that makes the difference i also find that having a journal helps me to hear what god is trying to tell me i know that journaling may not be for everyone and i myself don't really write on my journal daily but i do strive to write a page or two every so often about my insights on what has happened in my life that week or that month what i think god's message was when i look back later to what i have written sometimes i would notice a theme or a certain pattern and this gives me direction as to how my life should go but if you really want to be in tune with god and hear his voice you must study or reflect on his word because when you do you will learn more about his mind then the holy spirit makes that word applicable to you at the times when you need god's guidance and wisdom as saint paul said all scripture is inspired by god and is useful for teaching for reproof for correction and for training in righteousness so we read we listen to what god tells us in his written word and then we try to let what we read or what we heard stay with us and hence we grow gradually in his wisdom you ask how do you know that the message is from god well it must be weighed and measured against his word god's voice will never contradict his word and this is one reason why study of scripture is so important we cannot really depend on our feelings a message coming from god and from other source can both make us feel warm inside moreover our hearts can be deviously intelligent in helping us justify and rationalize what we want will it take long before you can hear him i don't know god comes at his initiative not our conjuring so you have to open yourself up continuously to what he may want to say you just don't try to listen to him when you're not sure about something and therefore need some guidance listening is part of an ongoing and loving relationship with god the source of all wisdom listening also requires discipline and i must admit it is a discipline that at times i lack in the hustles and bustles of life i don't always listen to him attentively or sometimes i don't listen to him at all but the times when i do what i hear becomes food for my hungry soul thank you for watching watch out for the next video which will answer the question should i pray to saints